GCSE Maths, how to find a turning point in less than 90 seconds. Let's go. How would we find the turning point of the line with equation y equals x squared plus 8x plus 14? Now, guys, the best way to do this is definitely going to be to use completing the square. This is going to be a process which is best to just memorize. So let's have a look. How would we complete the square for y equals x squared plus 8x plus 14? We're going to write out y equals and then we're going to open a bracket, write in our x. We're going to look at the number next to the x. Here it's an and we're going to halve it. So we have plus four. If this number was negative, then this would be negative. But here, because it's positive eight, this is positive four. Then what are we going to do? We're going to square our bracket. We're going to copy down the number on the end, our plus 14 here. And then we're going to look at this number here, positive four. We're going to square it. That's 16. And we're going to take it away from our equation. So we have minus 16 on the end here. Next step, we can simplify bringing these two together. So we're going to have y equals x plus four squared 14 subtract 16 is going to be negative two. And now we can read our turning point to find the x coordinate of the turning point. We're going to look at the number inside the brackets and we're going to reverse the sign. So here it's going to be negative four. If this number was negative, then this would be positive because this is positive four. We swap the sign, we get negative four. And to find our y coordinate, we just take this number on the end and we keep the sign the same because this is negative two. The y coordinate of our turning point is negative two. There guys, we have the turning point of the line with equation y equals x squared plus 8x plus 14.